Isn't that so shocking, Tom? We're, we're talking about several million Americans who could have the trait and don't even know it. So researchers at UT Health trying to figure out if those people could be at more risk to COVID-19, vulnerable to the virus. And they're also wondering if that could be a reason that the virus disproportionately is sickening and killing black Americans. According to the CDC, sickle cell mostly affects people of color. In the U.S., over 100,000 people have sickle cell disease. Three to four million people carry the trait, most who have no idea they're even carriers. And one out of 13 people with the sickle cell trait are African Americans. Sickle cell is a genetic disease passed down by both parents who must carry the gene. One in four children have the disease. Two may be carriers and one can be completely normal. The exact situation for Naomi Wesson, who was diagnosed at four years old. I'm the one, the lucky one with the disease. I'm also the oldest. Um, but my brother, only one of my brother's surviving brothers uh, does carry the trait. Dr. Mudupe Idowu with UT Physicians Comprehensive Sickle Cell Center says for a long time having the sickle cell trait was thought to be a benign condition. But in fact, research is finding people with the sickle cell trait are at risk for COVID and other illnesses. Chronic kidney disease, maybe a type of kidney cancer, uh, the spleen can have a dead tissue in it. And even athletes can just drop dead on the field if they're dehydrated under extreme exertion. To find out your status, all it takes is a simple blood test. And Dr. Itawu says to get that blood test, just, you know, schedule an appointment with your regular physician. Your results should come back in in about a week. And she says if you don't know your status, but you go in for COVID like symptoms, you think you may have COVID, that would be a good time to get screened because if both tests come back positive, then doctors can give you more individualized care. Back to you guys in the studio.